It's math, it's biology, it's chemistry, it's physics. You know what I mean? That's what it is. None of it, none of this is 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 emotion, is opinion. Zero. You can have an opinion on a certain thing, but it's like this. If I want to build muscle, in terms of me growing my muscle, and we just want to create the overall volume and expansion of the, of the glycogen around the muscle, the blood around the cell, we just need to train their muscle groups twice a week, maybe around 10 to 20-ish sets, hard sets, actually, of each muscle group, all chests, all buys, all tries, whatever it is. Doing around 70 to 75 of your one rep max, that could kind of like sway a bit, but whatever, right? And progressive overload that. Rest between one to two minutes, blah, 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 like all this 30, 30, 45 seconds, do that, and progressive overload that shit, and you build muscle. There is no opinion in that. <laughs> What is up, it's your boy Johnny Shreve, IFBB Pro Mr. Tell Like It Is. Welcome back to the episode of q and It's been a long time since I've, since I've done a Q&A. There's been a ton of new subscribers. So thank you to all the new subscribers that are here. Come to my channel and subscribing and showing your support. So I really, really appreciate it. I'm just gonna do a Q&A so we can you know, kind of see, you know, if you guys are new, probably wouldn't see me do much else outside of training. So let's dive into the deepness. And I'll be transparent, vulnerable, exactly. Everything I say, I'll tell like it is. Uh, Michael Mariano, Mariano, Mariano. I hope saying it right. It would be great if you went over training to failure. If, when, how? What is the real definition of training to failure? Is it really that beneficial? Should you hold back even when you have more to give? Does it differ from a beginner and for advanced? So, dope, dope, dope question. Here's my answer I'm gonna give to you. When you start off, you should 100% go into a failure, okay? Here's my reason why. If you're a beginner, I believe that you should 100% Find a way to get someone to bring you to absolute failure and do it over and over and over and over and over again until you understand that that is what it feels like to really work hard. That's it. Once you know that, it's like then you can kind of gauge your like rate of perceived exertion. You know what I mean? So that's why I'm not a big fan of that thing. But when it comes to like, you know, what, you know, train to failure is, train to failure, technical failure or any failure is a point where you cannot give anymore. Meaning, if you can't essentially hold a load, you will not be able to push it up. If you can't control the weight coming down, you're not getting it up 100%. Whether you're getting up with great form or you're struggling to get it up, if you can't control the load down, you will not be able to push that load, right? You won't be able to do the concentric. That is failure. When your body has reached the utmost amount of lactic acid where you literally can't go anymore and lift that weight, that is actually failure. The process to getting there is a lot of discomfort, physiological discomfort that I believe people need to understand. So when they do train, they can train to like, you know, 70 to 80% of that. Cause that's what it kind of translates to in terms of like, you know, you know, it does like, you know, it is the load of your one at max becomes like sacrifice of hypertrophy. But in terms of like getting the best out of your workout, getting closest to failure is the only thing you need necessary. So let's just say like you worked out as hard as you possibly could. And you did one of those sets where like some Somebody just like just did like like three triple drop sets and your hamster your calves weren't moving like you're doing leg extension is burn you got that shitty burn and it's like holy shit you're like off like almost like oh you're puking like you're just like oh my god that's just what the hell you can't move your legs buckle like you got there right like 70 percent of that is what you need 70 80 percent of that like getting to there is what you need in terms of training because if you go to failure all the time you're just gonna break yourself right you can't go to failure every single time right um when i talk about like effort effort for me is being able to get to that place consistently knowing that knowing where you can go and being able to hold yourself back to a place of where it's still effective that is my definition or like that's my gauge of like that's necessary for you to build muscle getting to a place that you know that is still effective but not to a place where you're annihilating yourself right you know what i mean like you go into a set and you know for sure that you, one more rep after this and it's not coming up like you got like you're benching like ah uh, ah uh, and that was like you're you know you're doing 10 to 15 reps and you're at like you're not 10 then you're at 11 then you're uh, uh, 12 you know the next time you're going down is not it's gonna be a freaking it's gonna be a battle it might or might not come up you just skip that rep that rep's not needed all the time and that and that is literally like that is literally like backed up if you go look at actual literature in terms of like what is actually necessary to build muscle like your most necessary amount to build muscle is like really you know bring yourself to failure doing around 20 reps of like a weight that is going to make your muscles fatigue you know to around that degree of like 70 percent of like failure 70 80 percent of failure um yeah 
Hey Johnny, big fan for here from Italy. Would it be recommended to pose post-workout to help muscle growth? I've always wondered this, but um, don't know. Love your videos, they help me improve my performance in the outside of the gym. Thank you, that's awesome, dude. Keep doing you. So if you're a bodybuilder, I think you should pose a lot of times after your, your sets. It's not gonna necessarily help you grow, more so than it'll help you like extend that period of like, you know, your set. Because flexing is basically being in like a static, you know, muscle contraction. Like it basically calls them like isotonic. It's basically like, if I flex like this, you know, it's not moving. This is isometric, right, movement, right? Contraction, then isometric hold or isotonic. So like, if I do this after I did like a big, Ass, like if I did like you know a set of biceps to failure or whatever or it doesn't have to be failure whatever two to failure I don't give a shit it burned you put it down also and you're like boom from double and you're like and you hold that shit for like you know 10 more seconds you've elongated the set you know and then flexing hard heck yeah that would actually help um you feel the muscle and really you know helping yourself really understand how to hold flexes or poses but um, in terms of helping it grow I would say that it'll help it grow a little bit right it'll, it'll be like the same as like if you do like a drop set um for like 30 more seconds necessarily right so um it's more more so in like ex extending the set um, than it is the actual like posing. But if you're a bodybuilder, I would 100% do that. That's gonna make you a better overall um, bodybuilder, more complete. Black medicine, all right, black medicine. When training for volume and size, what would you say the top three most important practices are, whether behavioral, nutritional, or mental? Dope question, wow, yo, who's that? Black medicine, you better you better chill out with that. Wow, okay, cool. You have to have a head, man. Like you you have to have like, this whole thing, this whole thing is about being smart. Like, and that, there's my answer, straight up. Honestly, this, like, and I say it all the time when I coach, not, the only emotional part of this entire process is the conscious part of our bodies, of us that doubts and, you know, fears and makes, you know, miscalculations based on like emotion and, you know, insecurities or, you know, ego like all those things are are those conscious or some of those unconscious things that kind of like like veer us off off the the path like it's put us in like an, you know uh you know like uh like it takes you off the straight line right we're trying to get somewhere in this straight line fastest way to point if from a to b is a straight line and this whole process when it comes to like okay i want to put on muscle right i want to put on muscle requires a fundamental and a practice. If you do this action, as it says, you should be able to build muscle. Nothing about that is is opinion. You know what I mean? None of it is. Maybe the way you hold a, a dumbbell or do a you know a waiter curl. Not nothing. All of this is math. It's math. It's biology. It's chemistry. It's physics. You know what I mean? That's what it is. None of it. None of this is 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 emotion. Is opinion zero you can have an opinion on a certain thing but it's like this if i want to build muscle in terms of me growing my muscle and we just want to create the overall volume and expansion of the of the glycogen around the muscle the blood around the cell we just need to train their muscle groups twice a week maybe around 10 to 20 ish sets hard sets actually of each muscle group all chest all buys all tries whatever it is doing around 70 to 75 of your one rep max that could kind of like sway a bit but whatever right and progressive overload that rest between one to two minutes blah blah blah, blah like all this 30s 30 45 seconds do that and progressive overload that shit and you build muscle there is no opinion in that the opinion in that can be like well you know um you can also do like 10 to 15 reps but you could also do six to seven reps you know because if i want to you know in a but, you know, you can make a bunch of different, you know, opinions, but regardless of the fact that this is how you build muscle. You can probably do it 85% of your one rep max. Probably. If you took steroids, maybe. I don't know. Cool. But guess what? You still got to do it over a certain period of time, right? So when it comes to the process of this, it needs to be like, it has to be an intelligent, you know, approach where you have to be open to knowing that you don't know everything and, and learning or not knowing everything is the best gift you could have because that means there's so much more you can learn. You know what I mean? So that's why I look at, you know, this whole process, building muscle, you know, losing fat, doing a bodybuilding show, you know, getting your degree, life. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like this thing has to be taken out of the, at a in, at a intellectual crit critical level, not an emotional one. Behaviors are are just like reactions in emotion from like emotions, right? The behavior has to be something that's done that's like thought through first. That's my answer. <laughs>
Anyway, guys, hope you guys enjoyed the video, guys. If you did, make sure you guys like, subscribe, and share. You know, come up with that title, like it is transparent, vulnerable truth. For coaching, guys, johnashu.com, guys, I'm gonna do more of these Q and A's. They're actually pretty dope, so we'll do more of them. But anyway, guys, if you want to know more about my coaching, book over 15 or 30 minute consult. Ask me all the questions you want to ask. At the end of the consult, I deduct off any package that you pick. Also, guys, see the discount codes and promo codes that help save your life or change life for the better down in the description below. Guys, I'm on Instagram and TikTok. Send me your progress picks, your training picks, and your video clips, and I'll repost it for you because you know how it is. Iron sharp as iron. Progressive overload your life. In the meantime, keep dream chasing. Peace.